we've seen before. Mm -hmm. Greninja and Dry Greninja. A Joker and Wet Joker? I don't know. These characters are not obviously not identical, but some of their moves are uh, kind of similar. Their up air has uh, that unique utility of the drag down being really effective. Well, this is actually the first Venia match we have on stream. I I have been waiting all night to commentate one of his sets because he is somebody who has been, of course, getting so good here in the New York scene and is just like one of the best, if not the best Greninjas in the world. The guy is just a monster, a speed demon, and he shows it every time he gets on stream. Oh, that up smash actually gets the sour hit. Oh, that move just lasts so long. That was such a smart option from uh, from Apollo there. Giving himself the, like, just getting him the chance to come back to ledge basically for free. <laughs> Let me, where are you going? <sighs> Forward tilt's actually gonna finish the job. Grinch is so fast, man. He has overall probably the best movement in the game. Like if you're just talking about just raw numbers, his air speed is good, his fast fall is good, his ground speed is good. I mean the character just he zips from place to place. His hit his frame rate itself is not quite as good as you'd think. You know, neutral air and forward air are a little bit on the slower side, but he has the sort of, you know, with that super high jump and fast fall, positioning himself forward is pretty is what one of the things Benny is just so good at. And of course Greninja's ground moves are amazing at linking into his powerful air attacks. Ooh. Arsene once again has just come and gone. That's finally managing to take the stock. Apollo is at 83 though. Really not a great position. Especially when Venia is down tilt up smash. When does that start killing Joker? I feel like he, right now if he gets down tilt he's done for. But, oh, let's not forget about the great, the nutty things Joker can do. Already 64% on Venia. <laughs> oh, wow. He went so deep for that and still managed to make it back. I'm actually really liking the overall spacing from Apollo. You notice that these neutral airs from Benny are kind of whiffing pretty consistently. He's recognizing the path and just, just carefully placing himself out of range. Not enough quite to punish. I mean, that neutral air from Greninja is so safe. And, you know, you don't want to overextend and try and punish Greninja when you're not confident you can actually get a hit in. 170 though, finally up through the up throw does the trick, but Renny is at 108%. This is a worse position than he was, or at least better for Apollo. He can end this stock pretty quickly. Uh, it is, you know, of course, more difficult without uh, without Arsene, although Arsene is coming in hot in just a bit. I think now he's live, yep. Ooh, but Arsene isn't much help when you're being juggled by Venny and non-stop. Oh, the neutral could have led into something really big, but Apollo kind of dodges a bullet. Ooh, as he shoots a few bullets of his own, that mega not hitting. But there it is, finally that kill move connecting. Getting the mileage out of Arsene just for that finisher. Now Apollo at 106%. Venia chasing him all the way up there. Ooh, but also respecting things like that counter. Just patiently waits it out. Forward smash from across the map is more than enough to do the trick. Venia takes game one pretty dominant. Although I will say, Apollo played really well in, sort of in pockets of that game. Obviously, it was a last stock game, even if it was a JV2. But uh, if he's able to channel and be a little bit more consistent with his punish game, with avoiding some of Venia's crazy strings, he could definitely take game two and possibly even game three. Going to FD, interesting counter pick. I 
Normally, this is a pretty good stage for Greninja, but from what I've seen, he's been... When Greninja comes down at those high angles with the neutral airs and the forward airs, uh, Apollo has been doing a good job of avoiding that pressure, just like fading back just a little bit to the point where maybe this stage is not, like, Greninja won't get as much mileage off of this stage as he would. But let's not forget, this is Benia we're talking about here. The man is a fiend. All right, finally getting a single hit. And, and oh, there's that utility from the up air. Even without our set, managing to dish out a quick 37, 48%, actually. And I can actually see sort of the reasoning behind this for Apollo. The bigger stage, the lack of platforms, he's using his gun a lot more. Oh, the down and up smash not actually connecting. Back air might have done it at that point, but... Oh, he opts for the high recovery there. Might have been a really questionable move. Oh, and Arsene! dips at the worst time. And Venia recognizing it goes way out there. And Air Dodge would have, I think, probably killed uh, Apollo regardless. So he just ends up taking that hit. Oh, Arsene's back already. Neat. Hits in 125% and Arsene, but Arsene is almost gone. I don't think a throw is going to do it. And all right, at the last possible second, managing to close out the stock. Because if he didn't, then he would be stuck with normal Joker. And the big problem with that is that normal Joker doesn't have the greatest finishers. And Venia could, oh, he's dead? Oh, the up, he's still managing to snap to the ledge right there. And up tilt gonna be huge for him. Or at least enough to get something that just stood there. All these guys are just barely, like, avoiding the hits from the opponent. <laughs> just suits his gun a bunch. Uh, I am... Okay, yeah, he's kind of laughing it off. I... So... I, he just cut, sort of went for that gun stall strategy. Although I will say, in general, with Arsene, he might have wanted to just get back to the stage so he could take advantage of having that tool available to him, you know? Arsene, he's just, you know, just a better character with him, so you want to not waste time like that off stage. I don't think he has a jump. Oh, that high recovery, beautiful angle managed to manages to avoid the reset from Venia, and now Apollo is back on the stage. He's down an entire stock though, and at 100%. Things are not looking great for him, but Arsene is an amazing comeback potential. And if he manages to take this stock without suffering too much in the meantime, he still could be in this game. All right, he's returning to the more patient style. What was working out for him at the beginning, and I think the reason why he chose this stage in the first place. Only problem with this style is that it's more likely for him to get hit with chip damage. And when you're already on your last stock at 118, chip damage is super scary. Back air still not enough. <gasps> Falls out of it. No, and he manages to take the stock at 119 now. And Arsene is he's about halfway to Arsene. He has to get him before he dies, though. That might be kind of a tall order, Venia, putting him on the ledge. <gasps> Beautiful parry, but the bounce back on that down air. He's actually, oh, and now, now we have Arsene. He's just barely alive, but Venny is only at 19%. He's gonna, Paul's gonna have to get some crazy combo, and he's not even getting the chance to. These hits from Venny might not be killing, but they are putting him off stage, stalling out Arsene, and that back air putting him out there deep enough to finish the job. Venia takes the set 2-0, putting himself in winner's semis, where he's gonna be facing off next against John Numbers.